Okay, so we talked about the best advice, but what's the worst badminton advice you've ever gotten? Hey guys, I'm Badminton Becky. I'm an American living and playing badminton in China. Please hit the subscribe button and follow along as I talk about all things badminton and try to be a top player in my city. I think we've all heard more bad advice than good advice because advice is free and there's a lot more bad advice out there in the world than good advice, especially when you're a beginner player. Everybody has advice and everybody tells you what to do and how to play. And you're especially susceptible when you're a beginner player because you don't have any judgment yet. You don't know what is good advice and what is bad advice and so you tend to follow all of it, assuming that if a player is better than you, then their advice has to be good. But I think we all know that is not the case. <laughs> Much of the advice that we hear in the beginning only serves to confuse us, to make us play worse, and we don't improve. firsthand. When I started playing badminton, I would just listen to everybody for maybe like the first couple years. I would just listen to everybody and I would try to follow what they said. But as I got better and better and as I was training more and more, I started to realize the advice I was getting was mixed up and the people were telling me to do opposite things. And that's when I was slowly discovering that just because someone's better than you doesn't mean their advice is good. by far the worst piece of advice I ever got was from a guy about a year ago and this was not a guy that I normally play with we were just playing a normal game and I don't remember what happened but we either maybe almost ran into each other or I missed the shuttle something and he said very angrily after he said you're the girl the entire front is yours the entire back is mine and he said it like real slow you know in Chinese like which is kind of insulting, think I can't understand. So I just laughed at him and I said, oh, so you don't know how to play mixed doubles. Okay, I understand. Because obviously in no scenario ever is the woman entirely responsible for the front and the man entirely responsible for the back. You know that was in a more recent time when I started I really had no judgment and I listened to everybody and meanwhile I was training with my coach and I remember it was about two years into training one day I was just so frustrated because especially with mixed doubles guys tell you go to the front go to the back go to the front go to the back and everybody sends you mixed messages about how to play so I remember one time I was just so frustrated I went up to my coach and I was like, everybody's telling me to do different things. What do I do? Like, who do I listen to? He was very relaxed about it and he was like, that's so common. Everybody learns different ways at different times from different people. So everybody has their own method and that method works for them. So they think it'll work for everybody, but that's not how it works. So he said to ignore everybody. He said, ignore everybody and only listen to me. So what I started doing is when people would, you know, give me advice or criticize, it comes off more as criticism generally, I would always say like, Bitsui, like, like shut up in Chinese. And I'd say, if you want me to do something, tell my coach. Because I know I need to improve and I know some people have good advice, but I wanted it all to come through my coach and I wanted him to like, control it. I don't want to deal with that in the game of trying to like analyze is this person correct or not, especially if I'm not very familiar with that person. So I just told everybody that would criticize me, tell my coach, like if there's something you want me to improve or if there's something you want to tell me, some advice, tell my coach and he can tell me.
So what's some um, bad advice that I've gotten? Um, well, mostly as a female player, stay in the front, stay in the front, stay in the front. Especially in the beginning, the first couple years, the guys I played with were low level guys, beginner guys, because I was too. So they played low level or beginner mixed doubles. Yes, a woman focuses on the front, but that's not her only position. If a guy tells you to stay in the front and only the front the entire game, that's a beginner or a low level guy who doesn't know how to play mixed doubles. Um, another thing I've heard sometimes is um, only give the short serve to guys. Never do a flick serve, never do a high serve. Or only give high serves to women, never do a short serve. When serving, you should mix it up, but you don't want the person to get used to it. But I've heard like, always give the woman the high serve or never give a guy a high serve. So I hate that advice. Oh, I also totally hate when in a gameplay, your partner yells out something. Like your partner will yell out, you know, drop, smash, net, you know, whatever it is. I hate when they yell that out in the middle of the game and you are already gonna do it because it's obviously the right move. And then they go, yeah, right, right, good, right. Like it was their idea and you did it because of them when really it was you. I hate when people yell out advice during a game. And uh, I know a lot of guys don't believe me when I say this, but girls get a lot more advice given to them than guys. It seems like every guy, no matter what level, feels like they're qualified to tell a woman how to play, but they are not qualified to tell men how to play. So that's always fun. vlogs I've gotten a lot of advice and it was so funny because one day it was emailed advice on both cases the same day literally the same day I got two messages one said oh I just saw your most recent video obviously your string tension is way too high the other email said oh I just saw your latest video obviously your string tension is way too low <laughs> with advice too is the really good high-level players don't give advice <laughs> I remember I was playing with a Taiwanese professional player and this was a couple years ago so you know I was just so so and I was so nervous to play with him and I thought for sure he'd give me advice and I wouldn't mind his advice he was in shaman a little bit for training and you know a pro player has a very standard level so I wanted to get his advice actually but he never once offered me advice we played several games together and in fact when i would mess it up he would say he's sorry and i said why are you sorry like it was my mistake and he said i know i'm better than you so i should do everything to protect you i shouldn't ever have a shot put you in a hard position i was so impressed by that and after that i noticed the really high level expert players don't give you advice. They know that if you're training, you have your own coach. So I really appreciate that the really advanced high-level players don't give advice because they kind of know better. Kind of the reason why I don't want to give advice and I don't give advice to people when I play with them even if they're beginners and even if they ask me because I'm not qualified to tell somebody what to do I'm not a coach so I don't know exactly what they need to do I know what's worked for me but just because it works for me doesn't mean it's gonna work for everybody so I really don't like to give advice and in general I don't like to get advice if you get a piece of advice again and again from different people then obviously it's something you should pay attention to. Or if you have a trusted person that you kind of have one method that you're following, like obviously me and my coach, and uh, there's another guy that works with my coach as an assistant 
Those two guys, I always listen to their advice and Aja, I will listen to his advice sometimes. In general, I won't listen to people's advice just because I have a coach, I have my own training regime, and I can get too confused too easily. And I'm probably passing up some good advice, but I'm definitely passing up a lot of bad advice. So what's the worst piece of advice you ever got? And uh, how did you react to it? <laughs> did you laugh like I did? Or did you yell at them? Or how did you react to it? I'm curious to know. Let me know in the comments. Oh, 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 oh,